After measurement of an arterial blood sample on an ABL blood gas analyzer, you receive a patient report. The pH level, the PCO2, and the concentration of bicarbonate is relevant when it comes to deciding whether a patient is suffering from respiratory or metabolic acidosis or respiratory or metabolic alkalosis, and if this condition is compensated or not. A clever way to interpret these results is to use a method we call tic-tac-toe. The name refers to the old game where the goal is to get three in a row in a three by three grid. You may use the tic-tac-toe pocket card, which is shown in this video. Before you start, note that PCO2 is a respiratory component, whereas bicarbonate is a metabolic component. And before you can decide further on the diagnosis, you need to compare the results against your defined reference intervals in order to identify a possible acid-base imbalance. A pH level above the reference interval is a sign of alkalosis, whereas a pH level below the reference interval is a sign of acidosis. A bicarbonate level above the reference interval is a sign of alkalosis, whereas a level below is a sign of acidosis. With PCO2, you need to be careful, because a level above the reference interval is a sign of acidosis, whereas a level below is a sign of alkalosis. When setting up the tic-tac-toe, we place acidosis, normal, and alkalosis in the first row. And depending on whether a value represents acidosis, normal, or alkalosis, we note our parameter in the corresponding column. Let's take an example. The patient results show the following values. pH 7.12, PCO2 13.9 kPa, and the concentration of bicarbonate is 33 millimol per liter. Looking at the reference interval for pH, we can conclude that the pH is below 7.35 and therefore goes into the acidosis column. Now, the patient results show PCO2 above 6.0 kPa. Looking at the reference interval, this means that PCO2 goes into the acidosis column as well. With both pH and PCO2 in the acidosis column, we now have three in a row. And with an imbalance in PCO2, which is a respiratory component, we can conclude that this condition is respiratory acidosis. The next thing to look for is if the body has tried to compensate for this imbalance. If not, the bicarbonate would be within the normal range as compared to the reference interval. In this case, the bicarbonate level is above the reference interval, which means that compensation is taking place. Let's take a look at two other tic-tac-toe examples to see how different conditions could look. Metabolic acidosis without respiratory compensation. And metabolic alkalosis with respiratory compensation. The tic-tac-toe should be used as a guiding tool only, and additional clinical and analytical observations should always be taken into consideration. Watch the other videos to understand the acid-base balance and to learn how to perform an arterial puncture. <laughs>